We have another story of hope to share with you this morning following all the violence that we saw over the weekend. So we really are seeing the true heart of Pittsburgh come out as people are volunteering to help their neighbors whose businesses were impacted. It was a mess, it was like a bomb went off. As far as the eye can see, businesses on Forbes Avenue are boarded up after many of the stores were looted during violence over the weekend. But the plywood up at Aether Yoga in its message of hope might have actually protected the studio that was under construction. Now its owner is helping his neighbors. How do some of these small businesses that were truly impacted in a big way, who's already been hurting for a very long time, how can we help them a little bit as, as they're gonna help us, I'm sure, someday. While construction just restarted here at what will be a clean air downtown yoga studio, Aether Yoga owner Tyler Paytas is stopping it and redirecting his crews to businesses that need help fixing their buildings. Like Cardamone Salon down the street. Oh, I think the people in Pittsburgh, they, they've been very helpful. Joe Cardamone Salon never closed a day in 43 years before March. Now, just as he was getting ready to reopen next Monday, he has more work to do. I think they grabbed what, what, whatever they could. I think someone came inside. There's a pr pretty big hole over there in the window. If neighbors like Joe need help, Tyler says he'll pay for the labor costs. Having a construction crew here and um, having supplies here puts us in a unique position to try to help. It's really important for us to be part of the community and, and help give back. So as for Aether Yoga, it was supposed to open in May. Obviously, the pandemic pushed that back. Tyler isn't sure when they'll get to open, but he certainly is hopeful.